mark in motion once again as Derek Hale. Back to pass is Iverson. He's looking. He has his man. Complete to the 40. That is Anui. Anui gets across the 35 to the 32-yard line. And he picks up a first down. Nice bit of running by Anui after he caught that ball. He broke it back to the inside after a little juke on Youngblood there. And was able to pick up five extra yards after he made that catch. Just enough for the first down. to the fullback and he has a big hole right over the middle of that Bonneville defensive front four and he picks up the uh, first down or it's going to be very close we'll see where they spot the ball I believe we'll have a uh, uh, timeout a referee timeout I believe an audible eyes at the line by Todd Iverson. Long count. There's the fake into the line, the pitch out, and he's got it to number 42. That's Levy to the 10, to the 5. Still to speak down to the three-yard line. And they did not start the clock. Or did they? Well, only nine seconds elapsed since when that play was called. There's the pitch out once again, into the end zone, untouched, Scott Levy, touchdown. Nobody was right option, and Levy goes in, untouched. Nearest man to Levy. The defense, John, is a little confused. Yeah, I think they had a breakdown on that play, Chris. The nearest man to Levy was Kurt City, and he wasn't within five yards of Levy on that play. I think the wishbone attack is confusing this Bonneville defense. There's just so many different ways that Highland has been attacking them that, uh, They've had to extend themselves all over the field. And it's, and it's showing. Iverson takes the snap. He gets it to his fullback, and he's in for two points. And Highland now has their first play of the game, 22-14 over Bonneville. And left points are very big. Uh, if Bonneville would have stopped.